Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching people. No. Hi, beautiful. DIY bangs. They never go good. They never go bad. They always stay red. Um. Hi, beautiful. Are you ready to get banged? Okay. Hi, beautiful. Bangs. <laughs> bangs. <laughs> bangs. Bangs. Bang. I have Lenny. I don't know. What? Let's watch people cut their own bangs and fuck them up so badly. Ah. Up first, we have a video by Alexandria Zeal. I am going to be cutting my own curtain bangs. I am kind of nervous because I do have longer hair. So if I cut it too short, it's gonna take a long time to even out with the rest. Oh my god, your hair is beautiful. It's so thick and luxurious and so blonde. It's so naturally blonde. You have gorgeous hair, and when people have gorgeous hair to start with, I get even more worried about what the outcome's going to be. Very worried so far. I have zero experience whatsoever except for watching a couple tutorials, so I'm just hoping for the best, and I'm gonna try my best and do it. Great. Zero experience. I've watched a couple tutorials. Ah! Quickly pin back this hair. So this is the hair. Okay, the two front sections look relatively even. Not super crazy amazing even, but relatively even. We're off to a good start, sort of. She definitely went a little too low with the section. We gotta stop at the top of the eyebrow, da, 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 like there. You know, this one's going all the way down to the side of her head, and I'm like, ah, whoa, 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 stop it right there. Don't go so far down. You're supposed to make sure you have a super center part. <laughs> and that's not looking too center to me. It's actually looking like a zigzag. I have this little squirt bottle I got from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna Spray it down. We're whipping up the water. Eh, it's getting hot in here. So hot, so whip out that water, baby. I love that she's wetting her bangs. Nobody ever wets their hair before they start cutting. And it's like, why? It's not that hard. Just take that extra step and just do it. It's going to help make the cut so much more easy and even. And it's going to clump all that hair up into a little pile. And it's going to fall to the floor in a little clump of wet hair instead of all the little shards of hair everywhere that get stuck in your foot. All right, like, Definitely have PTSD from sh shards of hair. I've had an infected nail one time because of a shard of hair, so be careful with shards of hair. They're dangerous. And comb it out. And I seen a video like this. I thought like in my mind, this was just gonna be a super easy process. Honestly, it should be. Cause you're just pulling one side to the other side and snipping it off. That's all you gotta do to get a decent looking curtain bang. All right, it's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna be professional looking, but it's gonna look good. It's gonna be good enough that you don't look like a crazy person on the streets. And that's all we're going for here. You got this. I believe in you. So I have this marker and since I don't trust myself, um, I'm gonna just mark in the hair so I can make sure like it looks right. What? <laughs> Yo, this is definitely a new technique. This is something I have not seen before. Congratulations, you get an award for doing something that nobody's ever done before. Finally, I get something unique these days. I don't know what she's really doing with that marker. I don't know what she's marking. Like maybe the length she doesn't want to go past. We'll see. That's how it would lay. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I mean, it looks like it would work, but it looks really dramatic. Should I do it? Do it, 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 do it. So I'm gonna mist it one more time. Brush it out. So far, so good. I just looked at the title <laughs> while I was saying that and said, watch me fail so you don't have to. Okay, so she's gonna fuck up her hair. I don't understand how because so far, so good. Uh. <laughs> I don't want, I can't do it. I cannot do it. One, two. That cut looked amazing. It was exactly how you're supposed to do this. So what's wrong? <laughs> oh my gosh. You're kidding. It definitely should be longer than that, right? <laughs> It looks perfect. All you need right now is a blowout. You just need to blow those bangs back and get a little wispiness on the ends and they will look. I don't know if that worked. I guess I'm gonna try the other side too because I'm not gonna have one weird side, no. Why do you look confused about the result? The result looks perfect. And how, how are we gonna go wrong? Cause there's still a lot of time left in this video. Look at all that hair. That's pretty long. I don't know if this worked or if I just cut 
My hair, I feel kinda worked, right? It did work. Are we not seeing the same thing? Am I watching something different? What's going on? Yeah, I guess the moment of truth. I'm not ready for this. Well, um. It's a sleigh! Is it sleigh for me? I'm impatient. I'm not gonna watch another video. I'm gonna just wing it and hope. Hope for the best. Well, where are we going now? I thought we were done. She needs some face framing in the front, but other than that, she looks like she's up to something. She looks like she's gonna do a lot more to her hair. <laughs> so I'm gonna spray all of this hair down, brush it out. Wet your hair next time. Like actually wet it. I don't know what this damp stuff is. Wet it. You know what? I can cut my hair short again. It won't be the end of the world. Look at all that hair, gone. Gone. I think that was also a very non-smart decision. All, all the rest of my hair is gonna be a lot longer and there's gonna be like this cut off. I mean, this will blend together better. I'm gonna see the curtain bang coming up. No, I don't. <laughs> What just happened is what I'm wondering right now. Like, what exactly was the point of that? Now she has a bob in the front and long hair in the back. I don't think that's what you wanted. I thought you wanted curtain bangs. Where are we going with this? Look at all that hair. This is what I would look like with the short hair. She's like acting like it's a wig. Like you literally just cut your hair short. You literally have short hair now. This is not a joke. <laughs> that was your real hair. Are we good? Do I keep cutting? That's the question. I'm in pretty deep. This is gonna be like intense curtain bangs. I think tomorrow we'll come around though and I'll be like, what? What? Intense curtain bangs? It's a bob in the front and a party in the back. I have just completely lost track of what's going on at this point. I'm confused. So is she. What the fuck? Last year, I rage cut my hair all the way probably down here or even longer to like right here, all of it. I'm sorry, is a rage cut different than what just happened? Oh, this one was really not good. <sighs> Okay, so we're going for a mullet. I'm here for a mullet, but I, I just don't think that's what she wanted. Um, <laughs> that did not go good. Bye. Even though, like, I don't know if this is exactly what she was looking for. Like, it doesn't seem like it was. It's a very, like, anime haircut. If she styled it, like, flippy on the ends, it will look so good. I don't even have any critiques in the technique because I feel like she's just kind of creating her own haircut at this point. I... Yeah, I have no comment. Oh, it keeps getting worse. It's like, Kurt, go, be. What would you do if that was your head? I would freak out. I decided I'm gonna just keep cutting. This isn't okay. And if I have to cut short. You know what? Coming through the screen. I'm coming through the screen. I'm coming through the screen and I'm grabbing those fucking shears out of your hand. I've seen enough. So I'm gonna cut this <laughs> section. That was really sloppy. So I think I'm gonna have to cut all my hair. Oh my gosh, I hate it. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been a couple days after the tragedy. It's not near as bad as I thought it was. It was still definitely a mistake. I think as long as I curl it, it'll be fine. I also think that after a couple months, once it grows out a little bit, it will like fit my face and the length a lot better. It's just really short. You're gonna tell me that was the end of the video? That whole thing was confusing. I don't know how we went from a curtain bang to the entire thing chopped in layers. And she seems fine with it. I think that if we just worked with this style and did the whole anime princess moment like I want her to and just flipped everything out, I think it would be such a vibe and a look. What if we did the tips of her hair black too? Just like an inch of the tip of her hair. That would look fire to accent those tears that she just cut. For now, I'm not totally sure I align with what's going on, but as long as you're happy, I'm happy or I'll try to be. But what the fuck? happen what <laughs> up next we video by miss bliss i have this thing plugged in i have scissors i'm sweating i am scared well that makes two of us miss bliss my palms have been sweating since the beginning of this video when it all started when we started cutting cake tears into our hair but let's see if you can do it better hopefully we don't get the same result we just saw i'm over the middle part don't want to go back to a side part <sighs> I'm gonna put some deodorant on so I can feel fresh after this and not like a stinky mental patient. Ah, you look so nervous, which makes me so nervous because if you're nervous, then it's probably not gonna come out good. We haven't even really like started to do anything yet. So let's go into this with confidence and be like, I can do this. I'm gonna kick ass 
instead of the opposite, you know, because then you're just setting yourself up for failure. And here is where I'll begin the voiceover because in my head, I was thinking exactly what you were thinking right now. Your hair is not meant for this. Wet your hair! You see how it's like, she's trying to do a middle part, but it's like popping back to their side. That's because your hair is not wet and it has no weight. If you just wet it, you guys, it'll have weights and it'll be able to section it whichever way you want and it'll just stay there. We're making this hard for ourselves, damn. Just don't do it, just stop there, just stop. Yeah, it's not working, is it? Okay, but convince yourself it is. Fine, fine, just do whatever. The part looks sickening. It's very even, very crisp, very beautiful. And then to the edge of her eyebrow. Oh. lot of hair. Okay, those are gonna be very little bangs um, from what I can see. Honestly, they look like they already are bangs. They're already up to here. I don't know how much shorter we're gonna cut them. We need a little more fringe, a little thicker. All right, sometimes with finer, thinner hair, we need to add more hair to that fringe section to make it look nice and full and not like little tiny pieces of hair, just kind of greasy little bits just hanging in front of our face. Not that that's what yours look like yet. <laughs> For some reason, this hair just does not grow right there. This side inevitably we'll have more hair which is really frustrating all right f it it's already short i'm just gonna cut to the tip of my nose oh well hold on <clears throat> Hold on. Okay, so we're doing bang bangs. She's doing a full front fringe bang. Okay, I thought we were doing curtain bangs. I feel like I would like a, a front fringe on her. I feel like that would suit her face. And I'm glad she's working her way up. Like she's doing it pretty long. She's going like down to the bottom of her nose with the first cut. It's a great idea. Welp. There she blows. And we did end up wetting the hair, yeah. <laughs> I win. Split her down the middle. Now I'm gonna take this side, pull that over. Okay, okay, all right, all right, um, okay. Okay, sick. So we are doing curtain bangs. <laughs> why did we cut them so short? And why did we cut them in the front first and not just this second step she's about to do? Why don't we do that first? So we'll from the corner of it, pull it over. I mean, they still look cute. It's just a short curtain bang, but it's all about the styling. We'll see if she can pull it together. Now I'm gonna blow dry it and see if that was short enough. Just gonna blow dry and see if it was short enough. Uh, <laughs> I think it was short enough. Now I'm gonna do the second trick, guys. It's with dry bangs, going to pull all of them together. <laughs> So then I'm gonna pull it back, twist it once, and then two fingers down. Oh no! Oh my god. Just one second. Just one. One second. Just let me process. Let me take it in. What the f These videos are really throwing me for a loop today. Um, what? I don't understand why would she decide to go shorter? And then she decided to put layers in her bangs. That's the part where she elevated the hair and then cut it. But her hair is already fine and thin. So layering it is just gonna make it look like it's sparse. <laughs> and that's the result we got. What the hell? Oh, but don't worry, we keep going. That's gonna fly up and I'm gonna look like a crazy chicken. Ah! It's cute for you. For me? Not for me. I love how she just continues to try to style them. They just look like that. And they are not going to change. Like, that is all you're gonna get. Mental breakdown initiated. <laughs> yeah, what did I just do? If you cut your bangs at home and you don't like them, don't continue cutting them. Just stop cutting them <laughs> and wait and get them done by somebody. There's not much you can do here. You can get a clip on bang to just hold you over for a few months while this grows out. Um, you know, you're gonna wanna style them very flat though, flat to your forehead so that you don't get that bump at the top, you don't see your hairline. But otherwise, don't do it again. And I would love to see you with some face framing layers just to blend everything in, please. <laughs> that was a major fail. I'm sorry, I don't mean to make you feel worse. Sometimes I just can't help but express what I'm feeling, you know? That's kind of my job these days. You made the video, I didn't. I didn't tell you to do it. Well, I probably did, but...
You did it. Up next, we have a video by Chloe Danielle. I have watched the Brad Mondo tutorial on how to cut curtain banks, so that's what I'll be referencing today. Um, I see Bale in the title, and I see Brad Mondo in the title. I don't like those two things together, particularly. I'm gonna say it wasn't my fault, even before the video starts. It wasn't my fault. Mm -mm. It was all your fault. I blame you, Chloe. I've got scissors. I've got this comb with a um, pointy thing so that I can make proper sections. We got the tools and we got beautiful hair. It looks so silky and so soft and so long and luscious. But again, when we start with beautiful hair, all we can do is go down, you know. The first thing that I have to do is make myself a middle part. I don't know if this would work with a side part. Or like maybe you have to cut it in a middle part and then put your side part back. I am going to try and give myself a middle part. I cut everybody's bangs in the middle because either way you part your hair, it's gonna look good. And a lot of women and men and they's and thems love to part their hair. You go like this, you know, you move it all around, you do different things. And if you cut your hair in the middle, it'll look good no matter what you do with it. And also if you cut your hair on the on a side part, you're gonna end up with bangs that go like all the way back on this side. And then bangs that end like here on this side, you know, like there's gonna be like really odd and off and it's not gonna look right. Oh yeah. It feels so weird to move your part. Like, it feels wrong. Wet your hair. I was gonna get very aggressive with it, but I decided to just be nice today. Just be nice, be kind to people. Am I struggling? Why am I struggling? If I can't even do a part, how am I gonna cut my hair? I feel like I don't suit a middle part. Ugh, yolk. Ah, uh, yolk. I'm going to start saying yolk, yolk, instead of yolk, yolk. I feel like that's on a slight diagonal. Why is just parting my hair like harder than I thought? Like, is that, is that too much? Oh, I don't know. According to the Mondo Man, we need to grab like a triangle section that is <laughs> way too thin. Oh girl, look at those baby hairs. I didn't realize how many baby hairs I had. That looks like a lot of hair. You have quite thick hair, so maybe be a little conservative if you have thicker hair when you're doing a curtain bang. Otherwise, that's gonna be a huge section of hair just cut up and it's going to be look very disconnected from the rest of your hair but it is possible to blend it nicely and make it look good i just don't know if you're gonna do it at home very well i'm just gonna start with this we can always add more to it i feel like no don't add more no 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 i'm just gonna try and match that amount on the other side there's so many baby hairs under there too this is a look this is the hard part matching the hair on both sides so now we're gonna like brush the whole part here oh great if i thought i couldn't see before i definitely can't see now wait how the frick frack in the video he says how am i gonna talk to you guys what did i say in the video tell me because somehow everybody's skewing my words all right doing things that i never said to do i'm sure i said to wet your hair and your hair is not wet usually one would use one of those spray spritz bottles i however don't happen to have one so i'll be using <laughs> i'm just gonna guys get it wet however you want it doesn't matter the technique on getting it wet you just want it wet that is not wet enough <laughs> that's wet enough right okay so in the video he cuts it like just below the chin I'm gonna cut it a tiny bit longer room for some error Where are we going with this? Why did we cut it straight across? I thought we were doing curtain bangs. We gotta crisscross, you know? We can't just boop and then expect the bangs to be like whoop. Doesn't work like that. We gotta get the angling in there. Over direction creates beautiful, wispy angles within the hair. Looks like the cat brought in a small animal. Okay, it's looking crazy. Uh-huh. Okay, so the next thing he does in the video is he kind of pulls it all forward like this. He gets one piece, he pulls it to the side, and then he has it kind of on an angle. It has like a stare effect. Did I do that right? That looks amazing! That looks so good! She definitely needs a cleanup. And then he says, you check your work by making sure that the two front pieces are even. And then you take the two end pieces. I would say they're even. Okay, I'm just gonna clean them up. You're doing a brilliant job so far. Maybe they're too long and that's why they're throwing me off. The curtain bangs he cut end up like 
sitting about here and he cuts a lot more off when he does the crisscrossy thing. I'm gonna try this again. You can definitely over direct even farther and cut more hair off and that will make that angle really steep. The more you over direct, the steeper that angle gets and the shorter the shortest piece gets. I low key love the sound of cutting hair. Like look, that is not what I thought was going to happen. I'm just gonna try my own method, all right? Okay, um... <laughs> I've had enough today. Why does it look like that? I'm gonna like stop actually taking more centimeters off and I'm just gonna try and feather it because I don't wanna take any more hair off. I'm scared. Put the scissors down on the ground. Throw them away. Don't ever look at them again. Just stop because they were looking good and now we're pushing it. We just keep going. They're not the curtain effect. They just go like. <laughs> Listen, they could look good with just a blow dry and reevaluate. A curtain bang is never complete until you have a nice wispy blowout. I don't know how to salvage it. I have to take my hair out because I have to see what it looks like. Oh my god! What is that? So, I watched his video again and I hate to say it, but I think they're not short enough. He starts off with it like, like just below the nose, like, and I saw them on way down here. Oh, I really don't want to take more off though. I'm just genuinely terrified. No, if you don't want to take more off, I don't want you to either. <laughs> no. Oh, it's more hair. Say goodbye. It feels so short. And I am so damn proud of you. You see me a home run. Look at me, Brad. Does this look like a home run to you? I just started cutting again. Did it do it? Okay. Wait, I feel like that kind of worked that time. We just keep cutting. <laughs> Put the scissors down. It was good like five cuts ago, but we just keep going and for what? I'm just gonna cut it again because I don't think the angle is like harsh enough. Okay, it's got a nice gradient here, but there's like a short piece here and I'm not sure how it got where the long stuff is supposed to be. I think that's not too bad. Wait, is it one side longer than the other? Ooh, I'm gonna pull it over to the side. I am just gonna go in with that feather technique now because I want it to look blendy. I feel like that one looks alright. I'm gonna put down the scissors now. I think I've salvaged them, but I still don't think they're like perfectly blended. I think any hairstylist would cringe watching this. I guess we'll uh, just start by... That looks wet enough, right? Why do we have a Dyson blow dryer and no round brush? <laughs> If we're gonna do bangs, at least have a round brush on hand. Put the damn nozzle on Dyson. Put it on. Look at one of my videos. I don't know. I have a bunch of videos on how to style bangs and shit. So if you want to see that, look at that. But we need a round brush. We need to go blow it all forward first and then push it all back. And then it'll make that nice sweeping thing we all love. But blow drying one side and then the other side, you're not gonna get that sweepy bit. It's gonna be very complicated to do it that way. I promise. Don't do it like that. I don't know how I feel about this one, Chief. I am genuinely trying my best. I don't want to look like this. I don't think it looks much different to before. <laughs> They're just not working out for me. I don't know what to tell you. Like, I can't say I didn't try. I was hoping that these bangs would be like a redemption arc for my hair because it's so like lifeless and boring. I can let them grow out and pretend like nothing ever happened. So in conclusion, <laughs> I have regrets. They're not the bangs I asked for, but they're probably the bangs I deserve considering I didn't go to a hairdresser. <laughs> the thing is like, they're not bad. They just need help. For me, everybody with curtain bangs needs to have nice wispy face frame that connects to the bangs or else it just looks like boop boop and with no layering it's just like oh, oh. not for me I think the length actually looks good I think we just need to get a better technique with the blow dry again blow drying them forward blow drying them back and letting them go and letting them just be wispy in the face. I think this is fixable I know it is and it's not that bad, but it's not great, but good job I guess. Oh my god. Those were some of the <laughs> scariest bang cutting videos I've ever seen. Ooh, haha, <laughs> that was horrifying. If you want to check out my hair care or my hair color products, go to xmonohair.com. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. I'll see you next time. Bye.